Welcome back. We continue our conversation about sports betting and the proposal in New Jersey. We're joined by Kosti Kennedy uh, with Sports Illustrated and State Senator Ray Lesniak, one of the big proponents in New Jersey. And Senator, last time we spoke, you said you'd be at Monmouth Park to place NFL bets on the opening day of the football season in 2014. What happened and where's the process right now? I meant 2015. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got before a judge, I'm sorry, but whose brother uh, is now a coach in the NFL, and when he rendered his decision, he rendered it, these were talking points right from the NFL. I'm sorry, I don't think we got a fair shake there. We're now before the uh, appellate division, uh, the, the Third Circuit Court of Appeals. We have three judges, good, fair judges. March 17th will be the oral argument. I think we win there. When we last spoke, you were talking about a line in the ruling that said that the state basically can't regulate Correct. the process. Atlantic City casinos are highly regulated. Sure. Racetracks are regulated. Sure. But you would allow sports betting to happen without state regulation just to, conf just to conform with that law. Well, You'd be comfortable with that? I am. I mean, they, these are legitimate business people. They're not going to do anything uh, untoward. And by the way, just like uh, we don't regulate uh, the sale of hot dogs or magazines uh, at these facilities, uh, you know, these are business people. They're not going to want to do anything uh, against the consumers because we have consumer uh, protections. I would rather federal regulation. I agree with Adam Silver. Okay, but if we get if we get what we want, unregulated, then finally we'll see Congress to act. Costa, any concern about unregulated sports betting at these places? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I think the the whole idea we talked about how. You know, we're tr you're trying to take a piece of a pie that's going on anyway, right? People are going to, to their bookies, and now you brought up marijuana. I, I think, what about prostitution? Are we ready to legalize prostitution? We, we don't have as many people going to prostitutes as we do betting on there sports There are plenty games. of people who, if, you, if the world's oldest profession, you'd make it uh, safer, on. medically safer, uh, that you could have unionized people. People are doing people. it. It's an unregulated industry. You know, people are doing it. I, I, think, I think the idea that, that gambling is on par with selling hot dogs is simply mis mis Okay, broken. and it's not, it's it, not it really prostitution is, either, so it's, it's, it's somewhere, somewhere in between. <laughs> but, it's, uh, but, it, but the, you know, not, certainly m many gamblers are not addicted gamblers. But many are, and many do have an issue, and there's no question that legalizing will increase tremendously the amount of traffic there is going on. You see it, the, the, the illegal market right now is not nearly what the legal market is, and it, would, it will encourage more and more betting. But there is a way to do this where the state could regulate it, and that's to get the federal law changed. Why hasn't there been a, a, a more muscular attempt to try to change the federal law and allow New Jersey and other states? Three letters. NFL, a very, very powerful entity, great influence in Congress. When, when I tried to change the federal law six years ago and wrote to all my friends in Congress, they're personal friends of mine, I didn't even get a response. But now they're responding. This, the, the momentum is on our side. Adam Silver coming out in, in favor of it will give us a chance to change the federal law. Doesn't it make sense then to focus exclusively on changing the federal law as, a, as opposed to what feels like an end around that New Jersey's trying to legislate or, or, or litigate its way to sports betting? First of all, getting Congress to do anything is, is pretty difficult, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but if we, if we, if we, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, uh, but if we get our way, then Congress will, will take notice. Okay, you, you, you've said that part of this whole push is to recoup the losses to the gaming industry in Atlantic City and also sure. to racetracks. Is this really enough? Uh, is that enough to salvage the casino business in Atlantic City and, mm -hmm. and revitalize sure. the racetrack business? No, it's not enough, but it'll keep the lights on and I'll put some more lights on that have been, that ha that have been darkened. And, and it's a big start. The average visitor to Atlantic City stays like less than 11 hours. The sports better will stay for long weekends, weeks, enjoy the restaurants and the other uh, How festivities How do we know that there. they will stay for that? I mean, Vegas well, has created a culture with, with a lot going on besides the sports betting, obviously, mm -hmm. right? And most sports betting is bet during the game. It's like compulsive betting. You don't, you're not like mapping it out, time mm -hmm. events. I, I leave aside Super Bowl, Final mm -hmm. Four. There, there are, those are kind of one-off events. Mm -hmm. But usually you're, you're betting, you're going there and you're watching a game and you bet on it and then you win and you lose. Well, there's more than one off events. There, 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 there are golf tournaments. In New Jersey, soccer tournaments. Soccer is big in New Jersey. So w there's, a, there's a great opportunity for us to, to help these ailing industries. Just a couple of quick questions about how it would work. Would you be able to bet on the New Jersey sports teams? Or would you be able to bet on the Giants or the Jets or the Devils or, sure. or the Red Bulls? As long as they're professional sport teams, yes. I did carve out for college teams. Uh, in New Jersey or playing in New Jersey, 
quite frankly, to get the NCAA and, and my colleges. Uh, so you wouldn't off be able to back. bet on Rutgers. You wouldn't be able to bet on Seton Hall. No, you would not be able to. What about minor league teams, the Atlantic City Surf or the Somerset Patriots? Mm. Could you bet on them? Um, if if they're professional, as long as they're they're not uh, college teams, absolutely. And would it would it whittle down? What if a what if a track, an unregulated racetrack, said, "Okay, the Monmouth County Youth Soccer League, we're taking bets on this tournament." That's that's not professional, so that would not be allowed. Okay. Any any concerns from what you're hearing with how this might play in Jersey? I just think it's a very slippery slope, and we're we're opening something. I understand that the appetite is there. I certainly understand the senator representing his his state and his constituents and seeing it as a chance to increase revenue. I get that, but I think the the cost is too great. Last question, quickly, Senator. Why not online? There's online gaming, online casinos, online mm -hmm. poker in New Jersey. Why not online sports betting? Because uh, the benefit we want to see is get fannies in the seats. We want to bring people to Atlantic City. We want to bring people to the racetrack so that they, they can enjoy the other benefits and, and, and make money off of that activity. Quickly? Um, well, I'm just going to say that while you, you say you can regulate that way if somebody puts down a big money, it's far easier to regulate through online betting. These people know That's everything true. about, you can see if somebody just hovers and they're going to make a bet. <laughs> so if you really want to regulate uh, gambling, you've got to have the online component. Well, we'll see how the next round in court plays out. Senator Ray thank Lesniak, you. Kostya Kennedy, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take a look at some stories making headlines in the Hudson Valley.